Hi everybody, welcome to Mogat Farms. Always a beautiful day on the farm. Let me show you. The kids put the clothes on the line. We got the... B hey Ludford. Hello, you ready for some fun? Well, I don't know if it's going to be fun, but I'm here for the end of the day. Well. Hey Margaret, what are you doing? Can you just hook this to a 4x4 four four and leave it hooked up and move this back and forth as need be? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I would do. That's a solution right there. Well, we're going to put the conveyor on. That's the challenge. So, ultimately, the conveyor, well, I want to set this thing up so that the conveyor and it work in unison. So, yeah. if this, and this may not be the space we did, but let's say it is the space. This tongue will come off here. Conveyor sits here and shoots up that way. And then we, we have the dump trailer set up so that it goes up and, and then dumps in. Okay, so the tongue does come out of there. Oh, yeah. It goes on both ends, too. So that makes that a little nicer. Um, now there's nothing that says we can't run this thing where the conveyor is going that direction, yeah. move those tools and go that direction, so you just turn, it right? turn the whole thing around. We're going to change the box, the box wedge out today. We'll do that in just a few minutes. In fact, we'll hook it up to the, to the Yamaha, pull it out of here switch out the, the splitter or the the wedge right now we got a four-way on it tall four-way we'll switch it to the box wedge and then figure out the, where we want to put it if we use the box wedge it'll split them in five and a half by whatever size we want okay. which is perfect for drying right now we met fast forward two years we might put the other wedge back on or if we rent this, put the other wedge back on, that's another consideration is if we rent this machine, we need to be able to get it out of here. So we're not gonna, we're not renting the conveyor. That's probably not ever going to happen. So the conveyor can stay in there and the dump trailer could sit right there. What do you say, buddy? I'm gonna feed the cows. You need water. 
over here running. Yeah. Well, Gabriel, what do you think of this machine? Good. You like it? So, Lover, what do you think of this thing? This is a very nice machine. This is well built, heavy, hasn't backed down from anything. When it can't split them, skin them, skins them. Well, we did the trailer, the pile, this pile, what, two and a half hours maybe total splitting time? <clears throat> yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, I couldn't keep up. I really couldn't. Yeah. Whew. Now, I might be able to keep up if we had the conveyor doing the loading. And then all I'm doing is just feeding this. If I can grab the pile, feed this, and the conveyor puts it in there, I might be able to keep up. I mean, I... It'll be a good day's work. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go fast. Yeah. I think optimally, probably three guys running this thing would just be screaming fast. A crew of three would be just about right. So guys, I don't know if you remember Tom Holmes who came down Oh, he has a place not far from here. He came to the farm maybe a couple years back and gave us a fire extinguisher. It was really cool. And what we did with it was blew our spring out. It was a blast. The kids loved it. If you want to see that video, look right up here. It was a lot of fun. Do you remember blowing out the spring, Gabriel? No. You don't? What spring? Oh, you must have been little when we did that. Like down there? Yeah. Remember we used that, that, that tank, the red tank, and blew the water out of the spring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tom came by this past weekend and dropped off some more fire extinguishers. And I can't wait to use them. Not on a fire, I don't wanna use them on a fire, but definitely wanna try them out on our spring again. I did one with a toilet. And you know what, if I can find that video, I'll put it right up here and you can check it out. That was funny. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now, but it was funny. All right guys, I wanna give a shout out. What, what is it? Hold on, buddy, let me finish my video. Everybody, I wanna say hello to Carol Holmes. She watches our videos a lot. I'd like to hear from her in the comments. Carol, if you know how to leave a comment, let us know you're there. We appreciate you watching our videos. We hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy them as much as we enjoy making them for you. Gabriel, do you like making videos? Where are you? There you are. Do you like making videos? Oh, a spider web, it's bigger than a spider web. Where? Up here. Oh, right there, look at that spider. Oh, he's gonna bite you. I'm kidding. Gabriel, do you like making videos? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So we really enjoy making them for you guys. So do consider giving us a thumbs up. And until next time. God bless you. That's right, Gabriel. God bless you guys. Let's move some of that wood off yeah. so we can build some sides. You want to help me build some sides? Oh, uh, look at his creepy teeth. Spiders don't have teeth, dude. Yes, they do. I yeah. saw them. They're you creepy. are absolutely filthy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have to get in the mud. Yeah. All right, look. How about you help me unload a little bit of wood, and you and I can build some sides on this thing. You want to do that? Come on, we can do it. We get to use a drill. Look, I'm almost, I'm almost done with that pile, but I I don't want to get, dig in the dirt. Okay, was there something on my elbow? Smack that. Bah! I didn't say hit me, you knothead. I just said smack it. All right, let's work on this trailer a little bit. <laughs> you said smack it.